Hello, greetings YouTubers. I just wanted to stop in. It's been a while since I connected with you. I wanted to stop in and say hello and to see how your summer was and to let you know that it is very warm here in West Texas. Not humid, but warm nonetheless. So anything, when it gets over 100, it just doesn't matter, right? So I just got back from Dallas and I thought that I would see what you guys think about these glasses. I bought four pair of glasses and it was time to change the lens. You know, people sometimes wear those lens too many years. So my suggestion is to change the lens in the frames, keep the frames for a while or put them whatever, but change. And so this is the first pair. Now, yes, these are bold, so am I. These are white lattice type work on the side. This is a, um, I thought was a really interesting pair and I love them. And they, of course, get dark when you go outside. So this was the first pair. This was the second pair. And what makes this unusual is an architect designed these and see how they click. So if you're one of those persons that sticks your sunglasses in your shirt, uh, they will never fall out. See? Click, click, click. Um, there also is, I don't know if you guys can see the yellow in the black, but I thought these were fun. They're kind of bold and big, kind of like Mary. Know what I mean? Bold, big, and beautiful. But I like the yellow on the inside of this, so that is what made these attractive to me. These are a matte, kind of gunmetal gray. Nothing different than what I have before, um, have had before. But I kind of like the matteness of them, and I like the shape, and I obviously you can tell that I love plastic lenses. I, I'm kind of over nose pieces, even though these have nose pieces. Um, these are these nose pieces are like revamped or something. I don't know. Fashion Optical in Dallas can tell you all about it. One thing I thought about with these that is very interesting is you look how you can just like abuse and misuse and unreal how you can really um, trash these and they still just go right back so what do you think yeah yeah these I these are not no. now these are very interesting and I like these very much these were handcrafted in Paris, and I don't know what difference the handcrafted part makes except maybe in the way that it feels, but they feel really nice, and look. Just a little lift, and all of these get dark outside. And it's kind of nice because I can be in the kitchen cooking, see the TV. I can um, drive in the day, drive in the night. I didn't have any clear that I could see uh, at night. But aren't these fun? They're kind of tortoise -y shaped. And they are very, um, they're a little heavy, so you, you know that there's a quality about them. I really love these. And I really love these. And I love these. And I love these. This store is so fabulous. It's called Fashion Optical. And the thing that makes it fabu is that you have a really hard time making up your mind. And you know how most optical boutiques um, it's just you kind of settle for whatever they have. And um, 
take them and you put and you wear them on your face entirely too long. I think that glasses should be a priority. I think you should change them frequently. I think you need selections. You know, it's it's on your face for crying out loud. So I think I can totally justify um, buying new lens. These, but I do keep lenses forever and ever. This, these John Paul Gutiers, I have had for at least 10 years. And nothing special, but I wear them all the time because they're really comfortable. And these I use to work on the computer, so. Um, anyway, so that's the little thing. We're going to vote which ones we like best. The white, number one. The gun metal, number two. The black with yellow trim, number three. I should really own a boutique because I love shopping for eyeglasses. And then number four. And keep in mind that I'm really not the kind of person, duh, that doesn't. I, I don't want to look like everybody else, and I don't want my glasses to look like everybody else, or my anything, for that matter. So, um, I understand that a lot of people would not wear these, but I'm not every. Body. Remember that old song by the Kinks? Cause I'm not like everybody else And I don't want to live my life like everybody else Cause I'm not like everybody else Um, love it Anywho, I guess I will say goodbye And I'll be back Just wanted to pop in this summer And say hello And let you all know that I'm watching your videos Every single day, I log in and I watch what you have to say and what you're doing, and I'm just absolutely loving all of you. I love the collabs. I love all of you and everything that you're doing, and I think it's so exciting that um, that this summer is what it is. I'm very sorry, uh, of course, about the things that make us all sorry. The oil spill. Um, really makes me sad. And um, one thing that makes me happy is that my former students, all of the Paul Mitchell students across the country at the Paul Mitchell schools, the partner schools, and the uh, corporate Paul Mitchell D schools, um, are saving all the hair cuttings and they are sending them to matteroftrust.org. I'll put that wherever you put these days. And um, if you have extra, you know, if you clip hair or clip your dog's hair or uh, extra nylons around the house, what the kids are doing is stuffing the hair in the nylons and making booms. And that boom absorbs the oil. And actually, they can even be reused. And uh, this is something that uh, the jo uh, John Paul Mitchell... Uh, schools and staff and associates have been doing for years because we have a lot more oil spills than we get news about them. Um, this is nothing new. So um, I'm very proud of the students for what they do and what they are doing about this. They're a very philanthropic group and they deserve um, accolades for their very hard work. So um, I'm proud of them. So if you, maybe in your town with your hairdressers or your dog clipping place, maybe you can speak to them about matteroftrust.org and sending their hair and trying to do something about it to help. No, it's not going to soak it all up overnight, but it is an it is a start and it's something. And I know that all of us feel so helpless with our hands tied about this situation. And... Um, it's a start, so I'm very proud of them, and I will be back later.